G'day guys, uh, just checking out the alternator using this 4-scan um, driver and um, USB dongle. So at the moment we're looking at the oscilloscope. Here's the current voltages, 13.8 off the alternator and 4 volts at the, e at the ECU. So we're going to oscilloscope. We can see there is a bit of ripple going on here. Um, it's not really affecting the, the computer but the alternator has certainly got a bit of activity going on. I'll just slow that down to two to one. That's a slightly slower sampling time. Uh, what you want to look at ideally is no more than about 0.1 of a ripple. So if we're looking at the alternator, it's got what 13.8 to 13.95. It's, um, it's, oh, it's peaking at 14. So it's all over the place. It's not sitting as nice as I'd like to see it. Um, they could tend to tell me that this alternator is on the way out. Brushes or regulator. It's going to need some sort of attention. So I'll be pulling this out and having a look at it. And I'll also compare it to one of my other vehicles as well that I've got. It's got a brand new alternator in it. And we'll see how that performs. So I'm going to put this under a bit of load. I'm going to put the headlights on and we'll just change that resolution we'll go back to oscilloscope okay this is down at uh, 10 to 1 now just down here get 10 to 1 putting the um, the lights on high beam doesn't seem to be changing it much anyway it's a pretty good test to um, check the alternator condition. Yeah, it's hovering around a bit. It's a bit jumpy. 13.6 up 13.9. That's 0.3 ripple there on the alternator. So that is, I would regard that as excessive. Um, in a modern car, like something in the last few years, they wouldn't tolerate that. You've got to be under about 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.2, point, sorry, 0 0.1 of a volt. Um, otherwise, you can have um, little glitches in the system. All right, guys, so there's another way yet you can check your engine running with the 4Scan app. All right, guys, until next time.